Spending your vacation at a mountain resort can be one of the most relaxing things one can do. However, it can also easily lead to your death, and this is how. You might have heard the story of a 36-year-old male who decided to go on a vacation to a resort located at an altitude of 3,500 meters. He was a healthy guy with no comorbid conditions. Within a few hours of his arrival, he started developing some headache along with nausea and vomiting. He was clueless as why this is happening. He continued to get worse to the point that he was not able to walk due to severe dizziness and imbalance. Shortly after, he became unconscious and eventually lost his life, before having the chance to seek medical attention. And yes, this all happened within 24 hours of his arrival. Post-mortem studies confirmed what we call high-altitude cerebral edema as the cause of his death. But what is high-altitude cerebral edema and how can it be a danger to any one of us? You see, when you ascend to higher altitudes, air pressure decreases leading to less available oxygen for your body to consume. This is called hypoxia, and as a defense mechanism, the blood vessels in your brain start to dilate in order to compensate for the lack of oxygen. This vasodilation will lead to increased pressure in your brain. As the pressure increases, fluid will start to leak from your brain capillaries, leading to swelling of the brain. This brain swelling in medical terminology is called cerebral edema, and because this is being caused by ascending to high altitudes, the condition is termed high altitude cerebral edema, also known as HACE. HACE is extreme and end stage form of mountain sickness. It can rapidly progress to coma and death. That is why it is important to recognize and treat as soon as possible. Haze most often occurs at altitudes above 4,000 meters, but have also been reported at lower elevations such as 2,500 meters from sea level. Some might suffer from warning symptoms such as headache, insomnia, lack of appetite, and nausea prior to developing haze. Unfortunately, these symptoms can be easily misinterpreted as exhaustion, and individuals will not seek medical attention until it is too late. With further progression of the brain swelling, one will start developing ataxia and confusion. An immediate descent of at least 1000 meters or until symptoms improve is the major step in treatment. In case an immediate descent is not possible, then one may consider using a portable hyperbaric chamber or supplemental oxygen as a temporary measure, but this should never replace a descent to lower altitudes. As with everything in medicine, prevention is better than treatment, and the best way of preventing mountain sickness and high altitude cerebral edema is acclimatization and this is done by having a slow rate of ascent. Ascent rates of 300 to 500 meters per day are recommended for safe acclimatization. Some may use prophylactic drugs such as acetazolamide and dexamethasone to help prevent mountain sickness. Remember that even with professional training regimens, acclimatization and prophylactic medications, haste can still strike any individual at any altitude and at any time. So be careful to not fall prey to haste.